Hey everybody, it's Pete Ups. Thanks as always for hanging out upstairs with us and for checking out the channel. I got a different, albeit interesting, video here for you today. I got tagged on my Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, uh, at P-Dubs Arcade Loft, by viewer Mike Chanel. Mike Chanel knew that I was covering and keeping my eyes on the Visco Mini Arcade Bar Tops. Mike did receive his product, and he was kind enough to let me know about this on Twitter, and he even sent me a video. He sent me a nine minute video showing this product off as well as he did a write up. That's right. His own little write up of his thoughts on this cabinet. And I'm going to read you his thoughts on this cabinet. So you're going to get a viewer review. That's right. A viewer review of this mini arcade right now. And I'm going to roll his footage. The footage he took is really, really good. Now, keep in mind when it comes to his video, he I think he recorded it with a cell phone. So it doesn't have as good of a microphone as other cameras, so when we get to the part with gameplay demonstrations, I'm gonna have to crank up the audio volume on the video file, that way you guys can hear what's going on. But So I'm gonna read you exactly Mike's thoughts on this particular product that he emailed me. Let's start, and I quote, Like I said, the screen does feel small, and even smaller if you select pixel perfect display, though I'm glad that option is there. There's a ton of bezels, so I guess they just couldn't find a screen for the right size. It's a TFT rather than an IPS, but honestly, the quality isn't a problem for the sort of images it is producing. Controls feel good, but the buttons are spaced really far apart. Nowhere near as comfortable as the MVSX. And the panel is so shallow that there's nowhere to rest your wrist. The games are okay. I think Breaker's Revenge, Ganryu, and Goal 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 are the best of the selection. Some of the older stuff is total ass. When you plug the controller in, that becomes player one, which sort of makes sense, I guess, in case you want to play alone with the pad. The pad itself feels pretty cheap and plasticky. I tried plugging in an Xbox One arcade stick and the one from my Astro City Mini, and neither of those work, so you may be stuck with this control pad for two-player. The pad does work as a generic USB controller on PC, though, so there may be older USB controllers that work too. The build quality is good, but the software has an issue where it doesn't save your language and screen settings when you power off. Fortunately, save states are retained. I think if it can be hacked, it might be a handy bar top machine for one player, but the question is, are enough people going to buy it to make it worth hacking? On its own, the game collection is pretty weak and there are some fairly serious compromises in the hardware. But given that you might even pay more for a bar top on AliExpress, I don't feel too bad about it at that price. Plus, Breaker's Revenge is a legit, really fun fighting game, so it's nice to have that in this bar top. Hope that helps. Mike, thanks so much, Mike, for tagging me on Twitter, letting me know that you had received your unit. And thanks so much for offering to send me some footage. Your footage was so good, I had to, you know, make this quick little YouTube video for it. And you also did an awesome write-up. I loved hearing your opinion out there on what you thought about this product. I thought you made some excellent points, some great thoughts. Thanks so much. Now, for the rest of the video, I'm just going to show off gameplay uh, that he sent me of the games on the arcade. Keep in mind... Because he was recording with a cell phone, I had to pump up the volume on my end on the video here. So if it sounds any distortion or things like that, it's because I had to crank up the volume so you guys could hear him playing the games. Because he didn't use like the kind of cameras and microphones I use when filming these type of reviews. But definitely let me know your feedback below. And hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up on the way out. And thank you for subscribing. Enjoy the rest.